Massachusetts State Senator Karen Spilka recently talked with HCAM News. A recent bill for capital facility repairs and improvements in the Metro West recently passed. The $3.65 billion bond includes $2 million for improvements in Hopkinton's Town Hall. I asked Senator Spilka how the bond funds were allocated. The bond is a capital bond bill, so it's, it's to mostly help buildings. So there was one area for state-owned buildings, one for higher education, um, and you know whether it be community college, the state universities, or, or UMass. Um, there was one area for municipal buildings, knowing how much Hopkinton is working on in renovating its town hall, uh, I was able to insert the $2 million uh, authorization for Hopkinton town hall renovations. So working with the selectmen, the town manager, I will hopefully we will advocate and get that those funds released in the near future to help the residents out. A recent piece of legislation passed known as the Patch Act requires insurance carriers to issue common summary of payment forms directly to the patient. I asked Senator Spilka the purpose of the Patch Act. Patch Act, as it's, as it's called, Patch stands for Protecting Access to Confidential Health Care Information. And what it does simply is we all go to different providers, doctors, hospitals, and, and when you go, you usually get what's called an EOB, an explanation of benefits in the mail, and it tells you know what, what services you got. Often, insurance companies currently send that explanation of benefits to the subscriber, the person whose insurance is, is, is at, named under, not the patient. And in working with the Connor Center for Women based out of Brigham and Women's, I discovered that many victims of domestic violence say, don't go to seek health care because they're afraid that their explanation of benefits, which would explain what they were health care they were seeking, they don't seek it because they're afraid that would get back to the person who was actually causing them harm. So to have it then go directly to the patient and more general information. So instead of going into detail, uh, it would just say office visit or something that the patient could then help uh, dictate how specific as well as that it would come directly to them. Healthcare has been a really big issue for me, so I've worked a lot on that and you know, reducing the cost of healthcare and other areas because it, it impacts all of our lives. So it's just essentially to protect confidentiality. Right, right, which you think would be under the federal HIPAA Act, but somehow this has slipped through and, and it's been going on for years.